part in the mess and the gunshots from the gun range in the background. I just want to show you what I'm doing today. I'm actually making um, these squares that are going to be reusable dryer sheets. Um, the top half is a terry cloth washcloth and then the back is flannel. So I bought a pack of washcloths just from um, Walmart. I didn't use the colored ones, I just used the white ones because it was half and half. Um, cut those in four. So this is like one washcloth is four squares. And then it's probably not even half a yard of flannel covers all the back of these. So first I just did my regular sewing machine and an X in the middle to keep them from poofing up. And then um, since I have a serger, I mean, you can just straight stitch around um, to close those off. Since I have the serger um, doing that just to give it a nice neat edge. Um, this is a good project if you are new to your serger to kind of practice since it's all um, it's just straight lines. You're not doing any curves. You're not doing any hems. It's just straight lines. Um, so you do the X to sew them together. And then serge around the edges and clean up your strings. Um, they don't have to be perfect because they're just for the dryer. And then you mix um, one cup of white vinegar, one cup of water, and then a couple drops of the essential oil Hi. of your choice um, for the smell. Um, they're reusable. Um, you just keep going in there, you just refill. Uh, we have a glass jar, a uh, half gallon size glass jar. You just refill it with more liquid whenever they're getting too dry. And then when these themselves get too um, worn out or nappy or whichever, uh, they're compostable. So if you have um, a yard that you have a compost pile in, or we actually have a five gallon bucket out on the deck, um, you can put these in the compost when they're done. Completely reusable, no foreign chemicals, less garbage. So this is how it looks when it's done. I got the jar that has this kind of closure. That way we're not worried about losing the lid. Um, I didn't count how many this made and I did throw one away because I messed up the stitching on the back on the X through it. Um, but I mean, clearly it's a good amount. Um, this is actually two cups of water, two cups of vinegar, plus the essential oil just because there's so um, many in there. But, and then they're reusable. So, and then I'll take them. And take them and then right in our laundry closet someday I will do homemade laundry soap that will be a thing at some point but super easy like I said you just make the squares um, I'll put links in the description box to where I got stuff um, it's honestly super cheap I think the most expensive thing was the jar itself and that's because I was looking for a bigger jar with this type of closure the jar may have been six dollars but that's like nothing so i will link everything below hopefully you'll give this a try